All right, with all the excitement around Stellar Lumens, a lot of people lately have been asking me, uh, how do you buy, where do you store Stellar Lumens? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to show you quickly here. Okay, so here's first thing when you buy. I'm not a day trader. I'm not a trader at all. I like to buy and hold. Um, I think that's the way to go. If you were trying to trade and you were hanging out here, you know, you might have missed this little run, right? And granted, it's come down and up. But anyways, I like to buy, though. I don't like to buy if it was here or here, you know, at, at a peak. You want to buy when it's down a little. When I made my other video recently about Stellar, it was like right here. So I had seen this big fall. I'm like, okay, that's a good time to buy. Buying right here, not the greatest. You know, here would be a little better. Um, this is a this is over a month here we're looking at. But, you know, I'm pretty bullish on Stellar. With a 598 market cap, 598 million, and there are projects that haven't even launched yet worth a billion um, or, or not as far along and don't have huge deals with IBM. So I think this thing in general is priced low. So I'm fine with buying some. I want to have enough that I have a good bet on Stellar. Now, so... Uh, but in order to buy it, you need to buy it with Bitcoin. So you can convert to this to see the graph. It looks relatively similar, but uh, we will be buying with Bitcoin. So now where to buy it. So there's this, uh, this is Poloniex. Um, they see it, from what I can understand, it looks like they have 50% of all stellar volume is on Poloniex. So I guess that's where you want to go. Um, you know, I don't know that this is the absolute best place to buy it, but that's my theory here. Now, on the right, you can click STR is for Stellar. Uh, it's supposed to be XLM, but it was originally STR, and Poloniex never changed it. So if you, you click on STR, and then over here, we can buy STR. So let's take a look here. Now, it says 663. You can look down here, price, sell orders. Um, let me make it so you can read it. Okay, so the sell orders here. Someone's trying to sell it at 667. This says 663. So when I loaded the page, it since then has jumped. So you can sort of you can hit reload. And now what does it show? 667, which is 667. So let's say I want to buy some here. Let's not. I'm just going to buy a couple here. 5,000 STR at 667. It's going to cost me this. I have this much Bitcoin in my account. So now I look, oh, look at it. it, already went up to 668. If I hit buy, it's probably not going to buy it because it's at 668. So now if, this is, again, if you're trying to trade and play a game and like put lower than what's going now and watch it, I try to just make it match, right? So right now it's 668. Honestly, I would just change this to 668. And that's for 148,000 shares. I'm only asking for five. So this definitely goes through 668, 5,000 shares, and the price just went up. I missed it. That's great. So now it's 669. <laughs> the time I was talking, it went up. All right. Buy. Uh-oh. Bought at 669. Okay. So now we have our um, Stellar, and I had bought some earlier as well. So now we go to up here, Deposits and Withdrawals. And you can see I have 29,000 Stellar. Now you don't want to leave them. On Poloniex, you want to send it. So where do you want to store it? This, let me show you this without it having generated yet. And by the way, that's not my secret key that was there. I'm going to generate another new one. This is not my secret key. I'm showing you how to create one. Okay, don't get all excited like I'm an idiot. Okay, so here's here's the thing. There's a million wall. There's I'm not a million. There's a lot of Stellar wallets in places to put it. I don't know why anyone bothers with these. You're not going to go around spending your Stellars. You don't need to use it from your phone. And I guess this would work for your phone. This is where you just store it on the Stellar network. So you come here, and if you don't already have your secret key, which you use to log in, you can just generate one. Here's a brand new. This generates a new secret key. Okay, this is not mine. Um... And then, so your public key is where you send your tokens to. So now you go to Poloniex. Here's my Stellar. I want to withdraw. And I put my public key here. Uh, the amount, which is this time I want to send them all. And I hit withdraw. And it sends it to my account on the Stellar network. All right. Um, now, just another, one other point I want to mention. When you're buying in, like I said, 
try to do it when you're when the chart is not completely ugly. You know, when if it looks like he might it was right here, you probably didn't want to buy. The other thing is spread it out over time. Don't have to buy it all today. What if you wake up tomorrow and it's down for 15%, 20%? That happens. So yeah, buy a little, wait, keep watching, try to buy on down days. Hopefully it doesn't run away from you. But if it starts going up, 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 and you missed, it turns out that today, you know, tomorrow, it's up to way up here. Well, at least I got a little when it was low. At least now my whole portfolio is up, you know, because I own some already. It's Going up is not the worst thing if you want to buy more, obviously. But if it goes down, if you want to buy more, well, then you're still happy. So buy, spread your buying over time because this thing is volatile, okay? I mean, look at these moves. This is from 316 to 600. This is a double, you know, in one day. And then from eight back to four and fell by 50% in the, the next day. And then from four up to six, what's that? That's up by 50% in another day. So this thing moves. Don't, so don't blow your load on one buy. You might, you know, if you're lucky and you're paying attention, you may be able to grab a big, a big poop, meaning a big, a big drop. All right. Uh, so hope that helps. Good luck.